Alright, so I'm gonna hope that this works. Is okay? Since my internet apparently won't let me stream at all. Let's see here. That's really old, so I'm sure you've improved a lot since it. But I can still look at some stuff. Yes, I don't want to be Jesus. For sure, you go to Yoshi's. What even happened there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the spawn positions. He could have killed you there if he was good. Mm. I don't recommend approaching with Nairs in this matchup. This matchup isn't about attacking, it's about waiting for openings. Uh, if you watch Armada versus Lefnil, like their whole neutral game is just them like doing little pokes with drills while fading back until one of them like either gets into the other one's drill or they make a read on when they're gonna go in and then do a shine or something. So I don't recommend approaching with Nair in this matchup until over crouch cancel percents because. Uh, if the other fox is cognizant of your nares, they're just going to crouch, cancel, shine, jab, reset, or something. Um, see what you get off the grab here. Uh, I think that shield was supposed to be another grab. Okay, that could have been a stock. Oh, never mind. You good? You good? Oh, no! That was a shine. That was definitely a mistake, though. I think you ran a bit too f Yeah, Zach likes to approach with nares from across the stage if he ever approaches. So, just knowing that, you just gotta dash dance and then grab him. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's a huge mistake. There. You gotta back air him off this stage. It's good power shield on his part. I see like a lot of technical errors, obviously. Yeah, again, that was fine. You really want to stay grounded in Fox Ditto, and like the approaches that you take to the other person are either like you run in and do a fading back drill, you can run in and shine, uh, or uh, you run in then wave dash back, and if they're nearing. If if you nair at, at someone in a fox Ditto, you can wave that like if someone's nearing at you, you wave dash back down tilt. It's super super good. Like uh, Armada does that a lot versus other foxes. That's autopiloty. Oh yeah, Zach does that a lot too. I don't even know. <laughs> Ooh, boy. I wasn't as good at Fox Dittos as I am now during this tournament. I got good at them, like, in the last couple months. Oh, oh. This is, yeah, the rest of that match. Oh, I remember watching this. You almost kill him and then you just mess up at the last. You could have uh, chined him at any point during this. Like, all you had to do when you have the fox in this position. Hold on. How about this one? Right here. Okay, this one. That's a shine. You could just drop off to the. Like, you could have pressed left, jump, and then shined him. Like, 
I do it all the time. It's a very straightforward shine to hit. Um, or you could have done a drill while he was rising, which will put him like right below the ledge and then drop off and shine. But this is for sure a shine spike opportunity. You didn't have to do this. Especially that one. That was an easy one too right here. Watch. Oh, wait. And drop off shine right now. You just you can just jump off the ledge and shine him. Oh, this one too. You just drop down and shine him. Or do a drill because you know he has to go straight up and then you can easily get the shine. But this was... I don't know. You could have killed him. Because then this happens. This is all because of the mistakes. Like... You really can't afford to let someone back on in that position. Yeah, he killed you for it too. <laughs> I love that. I hate getting hit by that more than anything. It's so annoying. Yeah, so I'm doing these like late. Like, I don't think you're like paying attention enough to like what he's doing. He doesn't like. Um, when Zach moves, he like either doesn't move or he does like full hop in there because I don't know. He doesn't. Where he's like doing terrible lasers in the middle of the stage, I don't understand. Like this should be punished right here. He could have punished. Oh, I guess he's invincible right now. Yeah, like full hop near. Let's see. So let's see what happened here. Okay, so you're running. And I guess he read. I don't think he reads you. I think you just mistaked. I don't think he is capable of reading. I think he's just throwing out move for some reason. I'm pretty sure like half of what he does doesn't have a reason behind it. Like that shine. Let's look let's look at this. Let's see why he did this shine. Let's think about this for a sec. You're right here. He does a shine randomly and then goes to the platform again for some reason. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Oh, oh that could have been good. Yeah, he was doing that get up off the lawn. Oh, that sucks. A down smash would have covered that. Oh, that was sick. So you're making like a huge like comeback here, but... Watch, see, so just does full hop aerials. You grabbed him. Definitely a huge miss. I don't know. I don't know if you meant to do up throw or forward throw or whatever, but up throw is the better thing to do. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I don't, know. I don't understand him. Again, that was another. Oh, oh, that drill. Oh, if you would have done it. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, I got a little excited there. So the proper follow up here. Well, the, like, there's a couple options you had right there. You can grab off that. You didn't have to jump. You could have grabbed him instead of doing like if you just did a jump cancel grab. Like right after the second up till. Let's see up till up till re grab. And then you have position in the center, which means you can up throw and tech chase, but you didn't get anything off the drill. I don't know if it was a mistake. Like up throw drill is is like never good. Like the only follow ups you should be looking for off up up throw is really like back air near the ledge, up tilt on no di between percents forty to sixty. Um, up airs obviously, and then like you can do soft hit and air into like up smash on certain. DI, like DI away. But, uh, yeah. The regrab was definitely the best in that position. Or you could have done sing single hit up air, up tilt, but that was harder. And I don't think single hit up airs are good. I think regrab is the best. Oh, oh. Like, you could definitely outmaneuver him. Like, all you have to do is just, like, not be. as Like, he's, like, not very. Like, mostly, yeah, like, what is he doing right now? Like,. He's shooting lasers. Like, if he was doing this to me, I would just run up and grab him. Yeah, like, shielding across the stage. Like, I don't know. Just run up and grab him. It's good. A high aerial and shield is not ideal. I 
Another thing that's really good in Fox Ditto is if you nair near the edge, do a down tilt on DIOA and it'll send them off the stage. Um, I just, I never see you really do drills. Like, you shouldn't be using, like, nair as much as drill, because drill combos into grab and you get everything off of grab. Like, instead of doing as many shines, you can go for, like, drill grabs. And then either chain grab or up throw, do up throws. Oh, so painful. That was a kill. Again, you like respect his like little campiness way too like much. You just have to run up to him and smack him in the face. He's not gonna react to it. As soon as he starts lasering, you just go close and then wait and get a grab. Ah, uh, that could have been. Oh, oh. Need a lot of like working on your aerial control. Like your aerial drift control is like is really lacking. I don't know if it's better now because I haven't played you in a while, but. Like, so many opportunities to, like, combo him that you, like, just make, like, mistakes controlling your uh, mobility in the air. Like, I'm pretty sure I could beat Zach just using up smash. Just making reads. Pretty sure I could. I'll try it. Oh god, so painful. Uh, uh. Like you just keep running into him and, and, and dying. That's what happens. Oh, oh. See so right here, okay, this is a perfect opportunity for wave dash back down tilt. I don't see it. If you ever see someone doing like an aerial from across the stage at you, you just wave dash back down tilt it's, and it'll pop them up and it combos into a lot right there. If you just did wave dash back you could down tilt this snare that he missed. And you can actually do so much off of it. Like, it's going to send him up. And if he misses the tech, you can tech chase. If he hits the tech, you can still tech chase. You can get in in time to follow wherever he goes. Or you can, like, nair him or do an up air. Um, I'll point it out in an armada set after. I'll just compare how how the matches are played. Like, you guys are doing a lot of, like, a lot of nairs uh, as approaches and not, not running in and shining. Like, running Shine is honestly, like, one of the best approaches as Fox. Uh, in all matchups, especially this one, because both your characters are so fast. Oh, brutal. He also always waits for tech. He never moves. Like, so all you have to do is wait till he runs at you. He's not going to fake it out. He's not, like, he's not of that level. He always just commits to whatever he's doing. Uh, 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 mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. That's all I got to say. Go back and just get some of uh, I don't know about this. This is a pointless dash dance. When you hit someone off the stage like this, or off to the side, you should be running to under. I don't know if you can see my mouse cursor. Oh, you can. Like cover. You should be running to just about here, and covering it with back with your back to the ledge and just staying there, because you can cover everything from there. Um, but instead you run back to center stage and he does the tournament winner and you can't punish it because you're too far away. Whereas if you're here you could like probably react to it. Or again, you're not you putting yourself in a better position either way. And then he gets up in his little his little corner. Pretty sure you could have up smashed out a shield on that nair. Right here, let's see. Yeah, it's up smash out a shield. Um yeah. Just weren't really looking for that option. Uh, tech chase. Uh, okay, if you get a dash attack like this, the soft dash attack where they go up like this, okay, you should expect them to hit the tech, and you should be looking for up smash on the tech chase. Like, he's at 102%, so he'll die on this stage from tech. Uh, you die at Fox and Fox up smash kills Fox at this stage at like just at 100, like maybe 98, maybe. 99 but definitely at 100 so all you have to do is wait for this tech chase and run up and then you up smash you have time to react to that too and there too oh you got it anyway but you didn't have to do that extra step like you could have up smashed off the first one um, but yeah whatever you got it anyway so it's fine oh that was the zack he does something dumb and looks like you can punish it and then you're like too far away i think you should have ran in and grabbed Okay, cause this. Okay, here's the thing about like a general, general thing is when people whiff an attack, they're like most likely if they're like 
not that good, they're going to shield. Like, the better player would probably immediately roll away if they've, like, whiffed an attack in a range where they can't be punished, or their roll can't be punished. But a lot of players will whiff an attack and shield. So knowing that, if you see them whiff an attack far away and far enough away from you, uh, you can just run in and grab because that's most likely their next uh, option they're going to choose is shielding, which is that's what he does right here. Watch whiff. He whiffed his grab and you went in an attack. Like the our rock, paper, scissors of that was he whiffs attack, then you go grab because he's shielding, not you attack because cause attack doesn't beat shield really. So uh, I would have read and try and grab him in that position. But your aerial is really high and he did light shield it, so you can't. Yeah, he got you there. See if he see if that occurs throughout, or if he zack, he'll just whiff attacks and then just keep hitting A for some reason and not moving. Expect you to walk into it. Oh, it could have been an up smash or forward smash right here off this up tilt. Watch this. Ah, oh, right, he pops over your head. That's a forward smash. Off the stage, he would be would be nice and juicy. Oh, you got him anyway. He got the check tech regrab. Oh, he's going. Oh, I don't. I don't understand that. I don't know why you would choose to go on that angle when you're right there. This should be a high recovery. You're in no position to punish if he goes high. I don't know why he didn't go. Why he would go at at you right there? Because you could just if you if you back did the back air at the proper timing, he'd be off stage. And he still is, but. Ah, hate to see that happen. I think frustrating, like, if you would have wave bashed, okay, like, wave dash back to the ledge, or wave dash off the stage and did a rising bear, you could have punished it. Oh, I think you got stuck. I think you mistimed your, uh, I think you thought you were going to get the ledge. I don't know, I don't know why you thought that shine spike would connect, but whatever. So read. Oh, so painful. This, this, too short of an air. I wouldn't bother shielding lasers in that position. Like, in this last, like, little scenario, like, you're, like, trying to shield lasers. Like, the percent isn't, like, too big of a deal, and you're not going to get in on him using the shield. So you could have jumped up to the platform and tried to get around him that way, like, as if it were a Falco. Um, but, yeah, I wouldn't recommend shielding it. I would just, like, run at him, then wave dash back or dash dance and see what he does and then go in for something. Yeah, like, kind of like what you did there. Hi, yeah. Did you just time that wrong? Let's see. Ah, uh, I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. I knew he was going to go high, though. So. Oh, that could have been a back air. The up air would have killed him, for sure. So would have the, ba the back air, and it's way easier to hit it. Right there, back air, yeah. Oh, I would have, yeah. There's opportunities just that you miss. Oh. Where you could have had kills. Eh, that sucks. Mm, he could have. No. If he wasn't. If he was more aware of what just happened here, he could have punished you so hard. That's a jab reset. I don't know why he shined. Shine will never connect, and it would have sent you away. That's a jab reset. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I don't understand Zach a lot. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It hurts me to watch. Zero follow-ups. McGee. This... Look how many times he hits you and he doesn't get a single follow up off of it. It's just he just keeps hitting you because he's just winning neutral over and over. One misses his thing. You run into him again. You get this though, which is great. Crouch cancel is fine. But so far, taking 30%. Let's see what happens here. So he shines you. Does it jump out? If you don't do this get up attack, I think if you roll away. Let's see this again. I think roll away here is like, yeah, roll away. He might have got it, but maybe not. 
and zero follow-ups. And then he does that. And then you take the... Let's see how high you were. Never go on that angle from that position. That's it. It's never going to work. The only thing he can cover is this... is is right here from the ledge. Like, you'll see he's at the ledge. The only thing he can cover is this spot. If you go straight, you can't cover it without getting up. And then you're fine. Because you get your jump back. Uh, the only spot he's covering is the one right there. So if you just go straight or up, it's better. Just like, if you see someone on the ledge, you probably want to go high. Unless you... Unless they're only on the ledge because they're going to make you go high, which is, again, higher higher level things. But yeah. And if with better DI, you should have been able to live that. You didn't DI this appropriately. Yeah. I think you're getting antsy now. Uh. Oh, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> okay. If I saw that, I'd be like, okay, I'm winning this game. That's the end of it. If I saw him do that, I just feel like I have to win now. Uh, Alright, yeah, that's good. So this is what I was saying before. Like, there was an opportunity, like, uh, a chance earlier we could have rolled away on a hit like this. Similar similar scenario. But you did a t get up attack. If you do get up attack here, he's waiting for it. Like, he doesn't tech chase, right? Like, he stands still until you do something, because that's how he plays it. If you were to hit that tech, tech and place it, you're fine, but you don't hit it. And then I would never jump. Okay, this is a bad news. If you get hit to the edge, don't jump immediately on wake up, because a good player will read that and do an aerial and kill you. Like, getting, getting up and immediately jumping is, like, a huge mistake, especially as Falco. Um, cause Fox just runs, shines you. If Fox, if he was shining right now, you'd just die. Oh, luckily it hit you backwards, cause he was probably slow. Let me see that. Run, shine now. Oh, yeah, he's slow. So he should have already been shining. But, yeah, I don't know. What you, all you had to do was do a jab here, and it stumps him in his movement. Um, if you read, or down tilt would have been fine, cause you had time to do that. And there's another opportunity here. Let's see. This is a dash dance away. Right here. So you see him doing this nair. All you do is dash dance away, but you run at him and jump. And he already has a hitbox out, so you're never going to win that trade. So all you have to do is avoid it and then grab him. <clears throat> Ugh, I'm so painful. He getting stuck on platform like that it sucks. Cause like what he's doing is like if you can do any form of like shield dropping, <laughs> you just you just beat him in this scenario. Ugh, rough, rough life. All right, set enough. I'll go to an armada set. Oh, let's go. Uh, go to any one of these. Uh, actually, I don't want to. Oh, what's this? Uh, that's what I want. CEO. I just want to point out some of the things that they're. So you'll see a lot of like running shines, a lot of drills. Yeah, see, you see him do that drill. Oh my goodness, I suck at YouTube. You can see him running and drill like that. Like, that's more common now. That isn't to say they never do near, but yeah, and you should always be at like percents that are under 70 or 80. You should always look for an up tilt re grab on no DI of up throw. Unless they're like right near the edge. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so here's the thing like, this is what I'm saying when talking about covering ledge options okay so he's at the ledge right so our mod is probably going to go high because if he goes to ledge Levin's covering it and then he gets up so he does 
Like, so he forced him to take that high option, and then as soon as he made the read that le uh, Armada was actually going to go high, he got off the ledge in time to punish it. Oh, that would have been sick. And see how these guys fade their aerials back so they're not, like, committing as hard? Like, like Zach, see how he did that fade back in here? Just watch. Because worst case scenario, he's mid-stage. Zach would have done an, a nair that went all the way over here because he doesn't control his aerial drift like that. So all you have to do is avoid it, and then you can grab him. Whereas this was more tricky because he faded back, so he's safe. Again, fading back with aerials is really good. Oh, yeah. Super, super s strong. Which grade? Oh, that's a string. Yep. And these guys, wa you'll see, they avoid each other a lot more than they're not like fighting often. Like, like they get an opening and try and do a lot off of it, but they're not gonna be like fighting with like little hits all the time. I wish the Eclipse files were better quality because that's a super example. Like, Armada was playing amazing there. Yeah, so that was perfect. So he went out there to force him to go up. Forces him to go high here because he's cu he's threatening the ledge spot. Like, if he goes on this angle, he's threatening ledge with back air. And he still is going to do it, of course, because he has to. And then he Levin had to go up there. And then he's still in a position to cover it anyways. So, I mean, he did everything right there. Oh. Oh. I love watching the up air chains. So sick. Should I see how he got the first one? Oh, he grabbed the Armada's shield. Oh, that get up attack was godlike. See again, fade back aerial, but Armada's spaced appropriately to grab it anyways. That dash tag was definitely a mistake. I'm like 100% sure he meant to nair. Forward smash, oh, that works too. You probably see on a bigger stage the like, the like running shine. Yeah, that's right. watch this. Watch what Leffen does, like just his character. So running shine, and then he does his fade back drill, like I was saying. Then he does a running shine, running shine f drill. So those are really the approaches that like the pros are using. This is like pretty recent, as of like this year. That's like what the Fox Ditto meta became is like running shine or drill like you will you won't see like low percent nares because it leads to a grab like this they drill grab and then they do the up air chain off of it oh my god that was almost a meat okay still got it but oh he's gonna yeah okay so that's drill grab that's what you're gonna be looking for in fox ditto you drill grab and you get the biggest follow-up that you possibly can off of it seems to be the way the fox ditto meta is going just the original grab which I drill Grab, and now you just try and kill him. <laughs> that fair was amazing. So, I don't know. I was kind of. I think he didn't think he was there in time. So he made the call there. You have to do that sometimes. He has to make the call that he's going to get off the ledge. Because you're going to say, oh, he could have gone high here. Like, he's covering the ledge. But if he, th he f Armada thinks he's going to go high at all, he'll jump off the ledge, which means going to the ledge is a good option. So at some point, you have to go to the ledge as Fox in this position because you have to keep your opponent honest and make sure they want to hold on to the ledge at some time because now next time say see he already knows he's at 100 so if he loses a stock to an edge guard like this it's not the biggest deal but 
next time, say he's at 70, it's in the same position, or like 60, now he can go to ledge because last time he covered it kind of thing. So, And these guys will adapt that quickly. Like We'll probably see it through this. And the next time he's off stage and firefoxing, I'll point. I'll see what happens. Again, there's that thing I was just talking about. This is how the neutral is played. Drill. Actually, run back, fade back, fade it with little drill. Covers himself with up tilt, which is smart. Runs in with a shine. Again, so it's all these low commitment moves. Up tilt's pretty low commitment. Drills low commitment. Shine very low commitment. And that's just like how the fox ditto is. Yeah, see now he's got the ledge because the last time he went to the ledge. Yeah, Armado was way too slow to punish that. That was stupid. I don't know why he did that. This was like a panic side B. Like you don't do the side B when the other guy's standing right here. I don't know. That was a perfect shield. Oh, he's screwed. He's got effed. I think I might have meant a wave dash there. There's that down tilt. He's, this was before he was using down tilt as much. Uh, he started using it... Oh, you know what? I think there's Big House 5 games even. Yep. That's an easy kill. But yeah, down tilt became like a really strong part of Armada's Fox Ditto in the, like, the most recent tournament. Oh, the reads. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That could have been the game there. I don't know who wins that game, but... Oh, they play on Pokemon. There's some really good down tilt usage in this particular set. That was meant to be a down tilt, that down smash. Good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I talked about that earlier. You always see the Europeans go for it. Watch this. So he gets that dash dash attack. He knows he knows he's gonna get an up cha uh, up smash tech chase as soon as he texts this. So he waits and then he gets it. That's what you should be doing off of the, those dash attacks. Because you just wait for the tech and get the tech chase up smash. Easy peasy. That's a, that's a pretty common thing now. Hot running jet. Oh, nice. Running jab's really good too. Something worth practicing.
Yeah, and he was going to do a drill there. He's, again, he was going for the drill, his little fade back drill. Watch fade back drill, gets clipped by the up tilt. Yeah, you'll see their tools in neutral are like dash dancing, shine, up tilt, drill. That's about it. And it, like they will sometimes dash dance grab when they can. But it's, it's hard to dash dance grab some these guys because they don't commit very heavily to anything. That's why their neutral game is, well, one of the reasons why. Like, you'll see most of their grabs come off of an actual hit. They don't just, like, get them out of the blue. Or they come off of reading when the other guy's going to shield. Spot dodge shine is really deadly too. <laughs> that whole stock, it's hilarious. Watch this. Wave dash back misses the grab. Spot dodge misses his grab. <laughs> it's a lazy punish. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> He was trying to do what Armada did before, where he ASDI'd into the ground and shined his Firefox. So that could have been a kill if Armada was, or I mean, sorry, if Leffen was as good at the shine spikes off stage. I'm trying to think of which game has the like super godlike down tilt that Armada does. Oh, there you go. That's Leffen's, but same deal. Oh, so bad. That sucks. That's Fox Dittos that happens. You see him do the... Watch, watch when he gets the down tilt. It's key. Tech chases with the down tilt and does the shine pair. I started doing that a lot. Except he overcommitted. He overcommitted hard. Well, he went for a super read here, but he missed and he died. Well, that's what happens when you start when you're down. He's like uh, he just fought him in winners finals or whatever, and he's down like four games to nothing. So you start making like risky maneuvers. Oh, that's what I was saying about the drill sends them straight down too when he gets them off. Drill to send them off straight down, and yeah, easy shine spike. See the fade backs, the shines, same common themes you'll see throughout all these games. Anyways, yeah. Probably got the idea.